<laughs> what it is, everybody? It's your boy Saving One Thumb, you know what I'm saying? And good morning, good afternoon, and about, you know, about the time I'm in, if you guys are here around Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. All right. Man, it is Saturday. I'm getting, I'm going to try to get down with a few today. I got a, a few requests I'm going to try to knock out. Then I'm going to try to get on to some other stuff. And so, like I said, you know, I'm not trying to take in as many requests as, as I used to right now. I'm trying to catch up on some new stuff. So, but, you know, a, a Nintendo fan guy got you this time. Um, I've done a, a lot of requests for you here recently. So I got to take a break. You know what I'm saying? After, a, after this one. So I get on to some other people who are who are requesting. Um, I have some in store. Another country song that have has been requested uh, a while ago, and I need to get on that. And I got another one in store as well too. So I'm gonna try to get those done today. I'm gonna hop on to some new stuff. You know what I'm saying? But for right now, I can actually stay. I can stay right there. It's not a video. You know what I'm saying? You requested. Sipping Chemicals featuring Rain from Provost and Glitches, which we have covered them a couple of times now, uh, at least Provost. And so I like these guys. These guys got some good style, you know what I mean? They're underground, they're, they're on the come up, you know what I mean? And that's awesome. And I do appreciate the fact that you support your boys, that you help them out. And you, you're always doing that. You know what I mean? You're good for that. You know what I mean? I really appreciate you, uh, you know, I'm saying a Nintendo fan guy, because you're also doing the same thing for me as well, too. You're trying to help me out as well. I really do appreciate that. You are awesome. You know what I mean? You and uh, BB10, you guys are amazing. So if you guys haven't checked out BB10's channel, you know what I mean? Just type in capital B dot capital B one zero and check out his channel. Amazing. You know what I mean? You, you, you guys try to keep pushing people forwards and that's nice and I really do appreciate all of that you know what I mean so whoo and I gotta start writing today for sure today I got to start writing on my I haven't chose which song yet I want to do I got three in mind well three titles and given the title is going to be given the song you know what I mean so I, I just don't know and I haven't came across a good beat yet. I mean, that I've been trying, I've been playing with the dang, my app, you know what I mean, to create beats with, and uh, I just haven't found one. I just haven't, I have not created one. I haven't found the right sounds for my next one. You know, this sticks out. Like, you know, the last one was like a match made in heaven almost. It just, I made it, I was like, wow, I really like that. So I'm trying to find that, that next sound, you know what I mean? It's so hard when I'm by myself. All right, let's get it. I mean, I'm not by myself, but you know, I'm working on on my own. You know what I mean? All right, let's get this though. S uh, Sipping chemicals featuring rain. I like that beat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did I take too much? I'm really feeling them. <laughs> Alright, so this reminds me 
has a big strong feel of like <clears throat> like ICP mixed with like a little white. Uh, God, what's another, what's another one? But Little White did a song, God, what was it called? It was just called Trippin' Song or Acid. It might, it might have been called Acid. I don't know, it's been a minute since I heard it. it kind of reminds me of that. If you haven't heard that, type in Little White Acid, I bet it'll pop up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it kind of has that feel. kind of has a feel to just a mix of like, like I said, like ICP with their storytelling. Almost like uh, Wizard of the Hood when he first went into Oz, you know what I mean? Uh, almost like that, how he's explaining everything around him. And then Little White's Acid Song talking about tripping, you know what I mean? I just get it. Yeah, I was probably back too far now. Ah, my, my finger just is not cooperating today. I like his speed though. I like the rhythm of his tongue. This is what I asked for. So I do is ride it. I'm losing my mind. Dude, I'm losing my mind. Right Why? <laughs> Why haven't we tried this before? I'm just curious. This shit's strong. Way too strong. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here just listening and my brain was just on something else just now. You know, <clears throat> when I used to write back in the day, okay, when I used to write music, again, I never performed any of it, but when I used to just write it, just write lyrics and things like that, of course, during that time, I was doing a lot of stuff, okay, like what they're talking about here. I wasn't uh, done that once, you know what I mean, uh, tripped, but... I was on a lot of other stuff, and uh, I used to write a lot about it. And I thought about, you know, diving into that past and talking about it, but not in a, in a good light. Talk about it in like a, how it began and where you end up. You know what I mean? That's, that, that, 
that's the bottom line, you know. You're not to hate on this song or any other song like it, but because a lot of them are, are fun, they're fun songs, and fun, and fun to listen to, fun to you know, reminisce on, whatever, but no one ever really raps about the outcome. <laughs> no one raps about, talks about the aftermath of said situations, drugs, so on. They rap about glorifying the drugs and glorifying doing them and having a good time. But no one ever talks about what happens after that good time is over. Know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about making a song as well, hearing this, it's just all in my brain just now. You know, making a song about the aftermath, because I firsthand witnessed so many of my friends who were gone due to OD, uh, dead from OD, dead from getting shot, dead from even they're living, but they're dead. You know what I'm saying? Lost their minds. Like literally, you don't want to be around these people. Like they, these are the, you know, some of my friends are the people you see on the street corners talking to themselves. I don't know where they're at anymore, though. I mean, I I don't know if my friends are out there on the street corner, but these are the people who are talking to themselves. Because I've yeah, witnessed it, and it's 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 weird to see a friend you grew up with, raised hell with, did a lot of stupid stuff with, and uh, here they are now lost 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 their minds, literally on. Talk, you know, talk to themselves and hearing things and seeing things. And so that's kind of what I want to talk about. I kind of want to make a song about that. You know what I mean? Where does this party life get you? What does it get you? What's the aftermath? You know what I mean? Let's get it. Let's, let's finish, finish this up. I like the rhythm though. We got that, got that good flow too. Got that good rhythm, good fun. I like that beat. Hmm. All right. Call it there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't. <sighs> Man. Yeah. Certain things just make my brain go <laughs> and work. Uh, you know, like I said, I have a, I had a patent idea uh, for a new product, and it just came to me like that. You know what I mean? That's how my brain works. It's bling, I got an idea. <laughs> but um, so hearing this. And thinking about that little white song, and thinking about a whole bunch of other songs that I, I listen to to remind me of my past of things. It's almost like you know reminiscing, but at the same time, it's kind of like not regretting. Which that's why I did that song. You know, that's why I did that dance song to Juice World, uh, Juice World, uh, Righteous. You know, that's what he's talking about. You know, the pain from said things, the pain from drugs, the pain from. You know, you can't get over your addictions and things like that. So that's that's what that song was about, and that's what that dance was about too. I don't know if those of you who haven't seen my dance to Juice World, 
righteous. I'll put it somewhere, somewhere over there. If I, 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 I gotta find it, but um, yeah, you know what I mean. Just you don't hear a lot of rappers, maybe some rock singers and stuff like that, but talk about the aftermath. You know what I mean? The, af the aftermath of drugs, the aftermath of a party, the aftermath of where it's going to lead you in the future. And Oklahoma is ranked one of the highest for mental illness due to this, due to drugs and due to all that. And it all starts from a good time. It all starts from your friends hanging out. It all starts from, hey, you want to do this one thing? Okay, cool. And then we do that one thing. Hey, and the next day, hey, you want to do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. The next day, next day, next day, next day, next day. You know what I mean? Then two years later, here you are doing other stuff. I don't go with the whole gateway crap either. No gateway drug, nothing. It's all you. You are your own gateway. You are your own gateway, period. I, I, I know people who have just smoked weed their whole life. You know, not their whole life, but you know what I mean? Since they started and done nothing else. You know what I mean? So this whole gateway crap. If anything, it's not drugs that are gateway. Cigarettes is a gateway. Drinking is a gateway. There is your two beginning gates right there. So people say, oh, well, weed's a gateway drug. No, cigarettes will be your first you, you ever try. And then drinking will be the, the, the second thing you ever try. Those will be your gateways. But I don't believe in the whole gateway thing, though. It's all you, you as a person, the people you're around. That, that is your gateway. Your peers is your gateway. You know what I'm saying? Not the drugs. Your people you're around. Because you are the company that you keep. And if the company that you keep is wanting to party it up all the time, guess what you're doing too? You're partying up all the time. So I kind of I want to make, that might, be one, that might be my next song. Now that I'm talking about it so much, I'm, I feel it, you know what I mean? I feel it hard. That's what you gotta write about. When you write anything or do anything, you gotta do what you feel strong about. And this right here, hearing this, I don't know why, even though the song's completely different compared to what I'm talking about. They're talking about doing it and having a good time, whatever. And who knows, they may have never even done it before, I don't know. They're just rapping about it because it's something to talk about, something interesting and fun to do, as in the song that is, you know, to write it up and make, make believe, you know. They probably have done some stuff, you know what I mean? But anyways, uh, I feel strongly about this one, and I always have. You know, I've thought about going to schools and talking, you know what I mean, to students uh, about drugs and why not to do them because it's, it does no good, you know what I mean. Been, been there, done it, done, been down that road, and I've seen the path on where it was leading me and the path where it led some of my friends. And uh, so I don't glorify, you know what I mean? I, I have kids now, and I, want, and I can tell you right now, my oldest is 14, my next one down is 13. And at, that, at those ages, I was already, yeah, I was already trying to do stuff. I was already hanging out with people. I was already doing bad things. I was already out there in the streets grinding, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I, I was 13, 14, 15 years old hanging out with 20-year-olds, you know what I mean? I was doing, I was out there ganging it up, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was out there doing stupid stuff. It was like a dream. I, I, I want to be a gang member. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be a drug dealer. I want to be that. And so there, it, it all began, you know what I mean? And I kept that company. That's, that was the company that I kept. Those are the people that I was around. And so that's where it got me. Was in a lot of trouble, a lot of bad situations. I'm surprised I never got shot. You know what I mean? But I also kept them out of arm's reach. You know what I mean? I kept them like that. I always knew to keep them a certain distance away. You know what I mean? I was around them, but I also knew how to keep them back to the point where I still had control over me and my life. And eventually I stepped away and I had to, you know what I mean? I knew that my life was gonna end up same as everybody else's, dead, whacked out, mentally gone, you know? 
So, I, and it's funny when I step back, even before I step back though, I was already starting to witness friends of mine drop like flies, either dead, for real dead, or mentally dead, just watching. Not all of them in the beginning, but as the years have passed, I, I still hear from some people that I, I still talk to, and they tell me the news on somebody else, and this, this person here and that person there. This year, so far, I don't think, I'm trying to think, somebody died, I can't remember who it was. In, yeah, yep, 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 my, a buddy of mine, that more, more of an acquaintance, but I was around him quite a bit, we all were, uh, died of heroin at an you know, overdose. So, I mean, it's crazy, and that's how it goes. So, that was this year. Last year was a couple more, it's like every year is one or two, every year, you know what I mean? So now it's getting to the point where there's like none left. You know what I mean? The people who I used to know are acquaintances. Yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I might I might write me a little something something, but we'll see. I got to make a beat to it for dang sure. I, I mean, I already have a beat. I might be able to use that one, but it might not match. You know what I'm saying? But all right, enough enough of me babbling on. I'm gonna let y'all get to that. You know what I'm saying? Get on down the road to another video, you know what I'm saying, to somebody else because I'm just babbling. But um, that is my idea. I hope, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed my little story just now, my little rant because completely random. It just kind of came out. But uh, I feel strongly about it. I really do. I feel strongly about this this topic and this in this situation since where I came from and what I've witnessed and been through. You know, yeah. And I, if I could teach kids to stay away from it or completely do it with reason like still keep yourself and keep keep your wits about you and your mind to try it out and to move on you know what i mean or just never do it never do it at all um i wish i could tell the whole world that brought right, you guys to my next one you know what i'm saying